What is up guys and you are here with Slender Dan and we are here on Dying Light the following. Now I am going to be changing like the titles and everything from walkthrough to playthrough because I feel like it's not professional enough for you guys. I do hope you guys have been enjoying the series. When we left off we were at the dam. We were getting some electrical stuff and met some faceless guy wearing a mask and he was praying to the mother and zombies were not attacking him and it was really weird. So we are now here back here to return to Jazir. And as I was coming in, before I started, I noticed that there was a faceless person here. So we're about to find out what's going to go down. Oh, so you're one of the faceless. Will you let me speak to the mother? You think she would speak with a stranger? No. But you are on the right path if you wish to join our ranks. Hmm. Be patient. What's your name? It's a little creepy, actually, with the guy's, uh... You have a long road ahead face. of you, Kyle Crane. Do not stray from it. And may this help you in your struggle. That's all we have to say to Ooh, you. Ooh, the crossbow. Okay, then. That I can't really argue with. So now we finally got the crossbow. Uh, when I played the main playthrough, you were able to get the crossbow before. And then people were telling me that they weren't able to find it. I was like, oh, yeah. Where is it, though? Huh. You can leave now, newcomer. Um, you know what? I can do and go wherever the hell I want to go. You will not tell me what I'm going to do. Now, I want to know where my crossbow is though, because that's a very important. What the hell? I'm not, I don't even have a crossbow on. Do you actually have to craft it? No, I have bolts in here, but I don't have anything to use them. Oh, compound crossbow, duh. We need the steel tubing, okay. You know what, you guys suck. You suck so much. I'm just gonna hunt you down. All right, so help the locals in order to get noticed by the faceless. So it looks like we gotta do something or other to help out the locals before we can actually move on with the quest line. So it's kind of important while you're in here that you actually have to, you know, get down, you have to get through. Oh, okay, let's go talk to um, Izgi. Is that her name? I don't wanna pronounce it wrong. What is it, Lazarus? Esgi, yeah. Let's go do that. Let's go talk to her about Lazarus. So it shows her marker up here, and she's in the house. So do we want to take the long way? Eh, eh, let's just go into the house. What's up, girl? Girl, girl, I don't want to talk to you, Sarah. Sarah? No. I never want to speak to you again. All right, where you get, Where you at, girl? Where are you at? Let me holler at you. Ah, there you are. Hey, Esgi, have you... Oh. Esgi. That's, oh, uh, she's been crying. That's Erkan's daughter, right? No, that's not her. That's what's left of her. She was the happiest person I'd ever known, but now. I'm sorry, but she's uh, conscious, right? Conscious, yes. But the longer she lies there, the more I feel like she just doesn't want to live anymore. This is harsh. When she was still speaking, she told me they hurt her and her mother. They shot her brother in the face, Kyle. Made her watch. All right, I'll take care of it. They won't hurt anyone else. Yeah, of course. Sorry. I just think I've heard it too many times before. Oh. That's kind of harsh. That's kind of harsh. All right, so we need to avenge Arakan's family. This is her right here. <laughs> She's still breathing, though. I mean, that's good, right? All right, how far away is it? It is right here at this compound area. All right. Well, let's go get our dune buggy. And we're going to go and murder some people. I am ready for it. I am prepared. But mind, body, and soul. Or at least I'm going to pretend that I'm ready for it. And we're going to just go pick up our dune buggy. I actually finally have it. I didn't just leave it in an area. And I have a pretty sweet just paint job on it, too. I'm actually kind of proud of it. And I have my SD bobblehead, so... I was just so stoked when I found out about the bobblehead. I was like, what? 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 There's bobbleheads in here? And I just started freaking out. I even made a video about it. That's how excited I was about it. I only have two bobbleheads. Apparently, people are saying there's a lot of them. So, damn it. Okay, all right. I, I, I promise this is going to happen again. All right, we're going to go over. We're going to avenge her family. We're going to go avenge her family. I knew I'd be able to use that in a video eventually. I knew it. I just knew it. 
Do we want to stealth it or do we just want to jump in and just murder every freaking person there? I mean, they shot her brother in front of her. Who does that? They probably did worse, but this game does have to have moral views, I guess. Alright, is that what this place is right here? How far away are we from where we actually need to be? Oh yeah, the compound's fairly far away. Alright, so we're gonna pretend that we actually know where we're going. Oh, we're not too far away. Damn. Damn, son. Alright, we are nearing the compound, and then we're gonna wipe them out. Oh, I think we just narrowly missed these guys. Alright, you know what? Let's back up. Get off. Get off. I'm gonna ram her. I'm gonna ram her over. Alright, this is not my idea of running her over, but I did just eject her from the actual vehicle. Alright, there's where we need to be. We need to be here. Alright, you know what? Come here. Come here! Bring your face to me! And she brought her face. Alright, let's heal up. And see what we got going. Alright, so we got a lot of really high-end weapons, but I really love the freezing axe. It is freaking sweet, but we need to be ready to actually go in and murder some people. So, police rifle, got that going. Bow. <sighs> oh, the Bozak bow. Okay, I thought it was the regular bow. I didn't know how I felt about that. And how are we doing? We got some Molotovs. Super Molotovs. I'm liking the sounds of that. You know what? Let's have a little diversity and we'll take the tribal knife and have that replace Blade of Order. Alright. So we're going to get into here. I don't know if we want to sneak in or how we're going to do this. Oh, the intense music is starting. Okay. We're going to case the joint. That's what we're doing right now. We are casing the joint. It kind of reminds me. The other day my sisters were home by themselves and somebody came up and was looking into our window and we live in I can't obviously I'm not going to tell you where I live but I live in Montana and our house is like in the middle of nowhere and a guy came and was asking where the a road was and is like bruh if you're going to case the joint you really got to get better at that I mean it was kind of terrifying I'm like did you call the police they go no like, what the hell? So, <laughs> just a random story that I thought of while I was in here. All right, don't, okay. All right, I think we're, I think we're safe. All right. I've never, I don't think I've ever tried stealthing before. This is new. This is kind of like adulting. It's just a thing that I don't do. Okay. All right. Ah. We got a little friend right there. Technically, we could stealth this, this guy. All right, ready? Are we gonna stealth him? Are we actually gonna pull this off? Is the question. We've got company. Oh! Damn it! It was going so well, I actually almost stealthed that guy. Okay. Alright, you know what? It was good while it lasted, and it just didn't last long, and sometimes it just happens, you know? So now they're all after me, but I'm okay with that. Alright, uh <laughs> Alright. How do, you, how do you guys feel about... Ooh, what is this right here? Oh, it's just a police rifle. Okay. Let's let's lure them to me. All right, ready? Come on, guys. Come on. Have some fire. Burn in hell. Burn in hell. You too. We're just going to burn them up. I feel like that that's a fantastic way. Is that guy on fire still? Yeah, that guy's flaming. He's flaming. Oh. Oh, fire for the win. All right, what else do we have? We still have some grenades. Yeah, shrapnel grenades. Bye. Did that guy die? I hit you with a shrapnel grenade. You should be dead. Oh, what? That guy just died right in front of me. Okay, I guess that's one way to go. Can we get in? No, all right. Have a shrapnel grenade, guys. Damn, I'm really, I'm, this is kind of stealthing, right? How many hits can you take? Oh, oh, okay, so if we cut his leg off, he dies. All right, so now we got to take out this guy. Where are you at, bruh? I'm going to take you on. Oh, that would have been beautiful. He's like, nope, nope. Whoa, this guy's in, like, armor or some shit. Okay, fine. How are you going to do with a shrapnel grenade? All right, apparently he did fairly well with a shrapnel. Okay, how do you do with fire? Oh, okay, I'm using a shield. Oh, damn, all right. 
I, I can't really lie and say that I didn't see that coming because that would be a lie, but... Oh, it was going so well. It's going so freaking well. Alright. There's not that many of them left, though. So we're just gonna kill him. Ready? We're just gonna walk in there. We're gonna take him out, because that's the way that we roll. And I'm gonna switch to... Huh. We could just gun him down. Where is he even? Oh, I have my shield. Alright, Brett. Brett, I'm gonna take you on. Just give me one second. Alright, ready? Great. Alright, where are you at? Is he dying? Is he dead? Oh, he's dead. Apparently his armor wasn't strong enough to fight bullets. Ha! Huh. Sucks to suck. <laughs> Alright, so we got one guy left. Oh! Okay. Apparently that guy wanted to go meet his maker. Oh, who do we have back here? Another guy? Pop your little head out. Pop it out. Pop it out. So, just pop it out right now. <laughs> and that's the way it's done. We avenged her family. And now we have officially avenged her family. So is there anything of value in here? Any bobbleheads? Anything that I can actually use? Because we're going to go back and we're going to be like, Yo. Now I can go meet the mother because I freaking saved you. Because I'm a freaking badass. Actually, no, I mean I died, so it's a little sad. Make sure there are no bandits left alive. Okay, we're going for the full thing right now. I mean, there can be no survivors whatsoever. I don't know why it's telling me to do this, though. I wonder if it's having me do this because there's a little mini boss here. Another armored guy. Hello. How... How is your family today? Oh, this looks appealing. Anyone? I'm glad I ate dinner like a couple hours ago. This looks fantastic. I would cook that. All right. Are there any dudes still alive here? Oh, wow. Okay, this place is actually bigger. What the hell? This is the place that the pistol used to be at. The pistol used to sit right there on the chair. So that's what this area is. Okay. Irony at its fullest. So what do we do? Just case the joint? Mm. Oh! Oh! Where's Archon? Oh, what the hell? Did that person move? Alright, we gotta check this body. Is this the brother that got shot in the face? This doesn't look like a guy that got... This... This chick just died in front of me. Guys. This is... Really, really bad. Now we're... Search and rescue. Or more like search, actually. We're probably just gonna search for a body. Body? Oh, I don't think there's anything in the fridge. I'd be a little effed up. I'd be extremely messed up if there was a body in the fridge. Is there someone still alive? Where are you, bitch? Where? Where? Oh, what is this? Racing trophy. Where is he? Is he on the roof? Ha. Huh. You're gonna regret ever talking, son. Oh, I think the guy's actually in the basement. These houses now have that basement thing. He's right up here. Where are you? Hello? He's not here either. He must be on the actual roof. This guy is crazy. Where are you? Where? Where is this guy? All right, you know what? Oh, is he in here? Hello? Oh, okay, he's downstairs. Ha ha ha, that awkward moment. Ready? Ready? Wait for it, wait for it. Ha ha ha. Oh, he was supposed to die. I was expecting that sword to actually kill him. Alright, so I'll, I'll just take my... Oh, I lifted the body with him in there. Where does that go? Oh, I love this. Anything of value in here? Tools? No, but I, I like... Coward. Who's saying coward? Hopefully not a dead man. Dead men don't talk. I'm not a coward. Are you a coward? Just kill me. Why? How could they? Aircon, Air is that you? Coward. Kill me. Hey, Aircon. What could I do? Hey, you're safe, man. Get a grip. Your daughter's alive. Shoot me, please. I I'm want not... to join them. No, I'm not going to shoot you. Coward. Aircon, your daughter is alive. She's at Jazir's farm. She needs you. 
going? For fuck's sake. <laughs> Maybe I can kill him. Jazir, are you there? Look, I don't know how this happened, but Air Khan is alive. He's a wreck, though. Her cat's alive? And you really did get rid of those bandits? No, I'm just calling you to tell you Listen, that I just doesn't messed know me. around. I can't get through to him. The bandits He's that I play shock. cards together. Look, the farm's clear, so I don't know. Maybe you could ask your guys to bring him back. Of course, of course. We'll take care of it. Thank you. All right, well, so long. Let's go tell, uh, maybe we can go sport, score some points with Edsky. I feel like that would be a good way to go. I mean, I'd ship it. I gotta get it down with that chick at some point. I mean, it's gotta happen. My sweet, I'm coming for you. I'm coming to tell you that I, that you should date me or something. I don't know, what are you looking for? I'm a badass. I rip tags off of pillows. What's up, girl? Right, just as I promised, the bandits are no threat now. Thank you. Damn. You did more for her than anyone else in this godforsaken place. Yeah, she Rocket wants it. Ski, she I, wants me. I know it. I've seen a lot. I know she does. The only thing I can tell you is eventually it, it will start to hurt a little less. Don't patronize me, Kyle. You think she's the only friend I've lost since the outbreak? Dang, apparently it's she's going to be harder, harder than that. I'm getting so numb it almost doesn't hurt anymore. At least this one will get her father back. Air Khan's alive. They'll bring him here. Oh? He survived? Well, I guess she'd have been a little bit happier if only she'd heard that. Though... Though what? N nothing much. Just a, a thought. I just wonder why, before, she told me what happened to everyone else, but didn't say a word about him. That's a little shady. Sweet. So we leveled up. We leveled up our trust. Now we're an ally. I wonder if um, Jazir is going to talk to us or if we still have to do more quests. More quest lines to actually get him to give us a new quest. So we did that. We're slowly gaining the trust of the daughter. Maybe the father would want to... Maybe the father won't mind us courting his daughter. I don't know. I mean, there could be a possibility that it could happen. It's got to happen. I mean, I'd ship it. Jade's not in here, so... Crane's kind of got to move on. Nope, he won't talk to us. He's like, hell no. I'm not talking to you, son. I am not talking to you. All right. Well, I think we are going to actually end the episode there. So if you guys like this video, please throw a like my way. Hitting that subscribe button helps out. And I will say stay classy. And I will see you guys in the next episode.